Every week across the UK, young people are having inquisitive conversations about current affairs. Welcome to the Burnett News Club. How much did you talk about the news before you were in the club and how much do you talk about the news now? Um, I talked about it not as much as I do now. Now I talk it talk about it like regularly when I wake up to when I go to bed. <laughs> Members of the Burnett News Club are building an informed view of the world by engaging with our content. The activities in the Burnett News Club are um, really, really fun. They're not just fun, but they also help your learning. The resources that are given to them mean that they are able to engage with the news um, without it being dumbed down. The Burnett News Club allows them to access it without patronising them, and they love having that. They love being able to rise to the challenge of understanding. It makes them feel trusted and it makes them feel aware. The understanding of politics and world issues and knowing how to access these issues as well, I think that's definitely improved a lot. And I think people will be really surprised to come in and listen to what the girls are talking about and, you know, particularly when they're having the discussions on their own that aren't teacher-led and what they're coming up with. Activities in the Burnett's News Club help put us in the shoes of the people that are making the decisions, um, which is quite clever because the activities help you um, think about how it affects everyone and if you had to make these decisions what you would do and which is the right and wrong um, decision. I think young people should have a say on public issues because they are aware of what's going on in the world and shouldn't be scared about it. When there was the attacks in Paris they came into Burnet News Club and were like can we talk about this, can we look into this? and a few of them were a little bit scared and had heard stuff in the playground and it gave them that opportunity and that time to really talk about it and to debate it. These young people are developing critical thinking skills. The Burnett News Club helps young people to develop skills um, both in the curriculum and as, as developing as people that will help them to access opportunities much later on in their lives and prepare them for those challenges um, that they might face outside of school. Particularly in Year 6, with all the curriculum pressures, you just don't really get that much time. By doing the Burnett News Club, it allows to develop those skills, develop those, like that curiosity and scepticism and really analysing the world around them and it just makes them more aware of it. We use scepticism. We understand more about the world and what's going on. We can question other people's thoughts and beliefs. Yeah. They're learning a lot more about systems, but also becoming a lot more sceptical about where their news comes from, um, or if things you know, pop up on social media, they don't just take that as, oh, there's an article that I read and it must be true. Did you speak to your parents about the news before, or is this something that you've done after? Not really, because now I know more, I can have a proper discussion with them and be more sceptical. <laughs> they are asking better questions about the world around them. So, what do you think about the investigative powers bill? Should everyone have a place to live? Surely it's a human right. How do you know we, that we can trust the government? It's just because they have power. That's a really good question. Can you expand on that, please? Brilliant. Equipped with this knowledge and these critical thinking skills, Burnett News Club members influence the world around them by communicating their ideas to others. They share their ideas on the Burnett News Club online platform a place where young people's ideas are taken seriously. There, they receive in-depth responses and feedback from hundreds of other club members and experts on the issues, including MPs and senior business leaders. By sending my comments, it's helped me um, make up my own ideas. What I like about the Burnham News Club is that you can have your own opinion and you can say what you like. I just love hearing them talk and get their ideas out and seeing their ideas develop. Sometimes they come up with such good ideas and you're sort of like, why aren't we doing that already, you know? Like they're what, 13 or so and they're coming up with ideas that we're just not doing. They're kind of like trying to fix society and everything like that and it's amazing. 
and even with people who are maybe not so confident with speaking, they can go on the blog and they can write their ideas down there. They don't always have a space where they're taken seriously or where people believe that their opinions are worth listening to. Um, even, you know, they love it when someone from the Economist Foundation, you know, responds to them because they feel like they've kind of made a legitimate comment and they've, someone's legitimately listened to them. I like seeing other people's viewpoints and just like looking at how people see the world differently and certain issues differently. The Burnley News Club is definitely the best thing I've done since teaching. Um, it's my favourite part of the week. Every week it gives me the opportunity to see those kids in a different light and for them to impress me and amaze me once more. Do you think grown-ups make assumptions about young people and the news? I think they do make assumptions and I think the assumptions they make is that we're more naive and that we don't care as much but we do and they think that um, it's their job to sort out our future and our generation but actually we should be more involved.